So, a quick little recap on uh, what we uh, what we talked about in the last section. This wow, this image really needs to be updated. If uh, if you can read that, you don't need glasses. Um, but so you invoke salt, the target, the function, and then you pass arguments to it. And the arguments can be key value arguments. Um, if you may have noticed when, did, when I did the package dot install command earlier with OpenSSL, I passed refresh equals true. So there is a lot of flexibility with this structure of running the salt command, but frankly, it's not too terribly complicated. Now, I want to talk about a couple of uh, really briefly and very quickly talk about a few high-level salt routines just so that you're aware of them to give you a little context of some of the things we're going to talk about. Uh, so salt ships, the salt minion ships with the command called salt call. So the salt command is reaching out over the network and telling remote systems, hey, run these routines. Well, what if we want to run those same routines on the minion itself instead of remote executing them? Uh, this is where salt call comes into play. So, let me demonstrate how that works. Fire up my master and my minion here. You don't actually need a master and minion to use salt call. Okay. But so salt call works just like the salt command, but there's no target to specify because we're running things locally. Okay, so pretty simple and straightforward, I think. All of those functions that you've got, you can execute locally. Um, and I do have some people who go so far as to never learn system D because they just do that or never learn the different init system.